One final thing I want to show you is what the video files look like after they've been imported into iTunes after download or after pulling the files off of a DVD. By default, it'll get pulled into the movie section. And if you look at it using the album view, you'll see this first column here. And each chapter is separated out into a separate album. Each album is ordered according to the order of videos in the chapter. And you see here we have the standard version and then the HD version, which is indicated with a little HD at the end of the title. And you can see as you scroll down that the albums are also in order. So you can use this as an easy method of tracking which videos you've watched and iTunes allows you to import it into other devices as well and this is a great way to sync up with an iPad or one of the newer iPhones or iPod touches. This introduction has been long enough so I'm going to go ahead and cut you loose. Again if you want to get full access to the videos you can either subscribe and subscribing allows you to have several other benefits as well such as getting a discount on certain products and also access to our community forums and you get full 24-7 access to the videos on the web all the time. If you purchase a download, you can also get access to the resource pack and you can download in an HD version as well. The DVD contains the standard and the HD versions and it contains the resource pack as part of it and all of the videos are included. Okay, thanks for watching and enjoy the rest of the videos.